Uh, came across uh, hmm? a zoo drive right about the dead end, and he's still in the car. All right, uh, 45 is code 6, uh, with a possible, or not possible, where the suspect is here. Dead end of zoo drive near the 134-5 split, and he's, I believe, hiding in the car. I'm going to stay in the area. Oh, Chris, I'm stand Air 10, uh, you're going to uh, authorize the primary unit to come down here in the city, or did you want Northeast to uh, handle this? <laughs> Fear, it doesn't appear that he's left the car. He's still in it, and it's on the side of the uh, road of the uh, freeway, the on-ramp to the uh, 5 freeway from the 134. <laughs> Sixteen oh one ninety to receive. Sixteen oh one ninety, Roger. If a northeast state unit is available to respond to it, uh, they can contact us when they get there and let us know what they have. I don't. So we're. Where can I'll see if we get a unit to, to respond northeastern. Yeah, well, I kind of want to hang back a little bit. They're, they were in yeah. pursuit of this guy, and he's down a dead end over here on, uh, on Zoo. We're right by the 134 and the... Can I get a couple units to respond to the area of Zoo Drive? The 5 off ramp. At the, uh, looks like the dead end of Zoo Drive. Uh, Cornhill had a pursuit of an unreported code 37. Mm. They terminated the pursuit, uh, but the vehicle stopped here and he crashed on the side of the uh, freeway, still inside the truck. Okay. If we can get one unit to respond, or I'm sorry, at least two units to respond. So, let's see if... Elimination unit 1, code 3 from northeast. Okay, units are coming, code 3. Roger. So, let's see what they do. I don't want to be between the suspects. I don't have a, a suspect description. But he's in the truck. The truck's going to be a, uh, looks like a dark blue. Did you get gray. footage of the truck while we were behind? It's going to yeah. be a glass, uh, like repair truck. It has the glass railings uh, on the side. But he's definitely still in there. Foothill I'm gonna see if I get didn't want it. As well. Foothill really didn't want it. He's kind of on the off ramp. 11, 8, 9, I mean, it'd be interesting to go over there and get like the takedown if they came right, out. Right. But at, at the same time, it's not... Can you explain a little bit? Because we just kind of threw it Oh, this. sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, welcome. Um, <laughs> welcome to this incident. The airship kind of explained it. Okay, they're dealing with something else. So, LAPD Foothill Division was following... Now he's talking on CHP as well. So, LAPD was in pursuit of this uh, unreported stolen vehicle. It's a uh, glass panel truck. It's a pickup truck, but it has the slats on the side so you can hold uh, glass panels on it. Um, Foot was in pursuit. The guy was doing like 70 miles an hour down San Fernando. And, and they thought that was too reckless, obviously. They canceled the pursuit. They canceled the pursuit. Airship's on northeast, he doesn't realize. He's, he's responding to CHP on the wrong frequency, but that's okay. So, he's trying to get everybody over here uh, to deal with this guy. Our suspect, as they were in tracking mode, which is just the airship following him, no ground units. Yes, I believe. Uh, it's that or Altadena. So, he ended up crashing into the freeway over here. Uh, he's gonna explain it. It's uh, running across the field right now. Uh, black jacket, gray pants. Uh, it was a termination of a pursuit. <laughs> no way. Of a, um, he's running across the freeway. Stolen, okay, let's go stolen. see that. And now he's uh, in the, uh, the bushes here at the 134 and the 5. 
do we get over there? He said he's running across the freeway now. My goodness. So we're going to see units coming up here in a second. Four Willamite, Altadena. Okay. So, I should be able to switch to the brown map. Okay. Yeah, so nine. it's Altadena. It's not. It's not black. I thought it was. I thought it was black too. To be fair. Mm. I thought it was the other frequency. So LEP is going to be coming from the left, and then we're going to go to where I think he is because we want to see them actually take him into custody. I think he's by the the bike path. Yeah. Um, over by the river. I think it's where he's where he's going to. Oh, there's nobody. It's a breeze. Where is the no, right Okay. So he's still on the other side of the freeway from us, and I don't think he's in the truck anymore. He said he ran across the freeway, so. Yeah. My assumption is he's no longer in the vehicle. But that means he's making his way this way. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. Hmm. So I think a good spot to listen from and observe is probably going to be the bridge right here. Okay, so he's between. He's between the their CHP. Okay, so he's between the the transition road and the bushes. And there's LAPD behind CHP. Well, all right. The concern, obviously, is if he gets hit. Right. But, again, this is kind of just a uh, standard, standard pursuit shenanigans. I honestly don't know how much time we want to put on this, but he's, uh, so if you look at the map, he's between the, where the 130, he, he crashed here, right? So his car was there and, uh, where the red, where the red dot there. So the car is there and then he's, he's in the bushes in this area right here. So I, I assume he's going to keep running across the freeway, but. He might hunker down over there. There's, there's quite a few trees and stuff like that, and they're gonna have to shut down the whole area uh, to get them. So they might even. I, I don't know if they'll call out canine. <laughs> and now people, people are calling in the fact that they've seen this guy run across the freeway too. So. More things you don't see on the news. Rescue the usual. LAPD has a five minute it's a uh, LA pursuit moment. It just happened to roll off the freeway. Oh yeah, we were we were right here, and then. Shooting in progress. That's a little more interesting than. Yeah. Right. My concern, though, right. We just saw a couple of them, but they had to, they had to go all the way down to. They're gonna get lost over here. It's it's really it's actually a fairly complicated area. There goes 
LAPD line us. Let's see what's happening. LAPD line us. So, my concern... Uh, this is like... Okay, so we do have a shooting in progress. There's a unit right there. Can we get airship, please? We're going to be coming up overhead. What's the problem? So, there goes another unit. My, my concern is, this is not currently a news story. Look, I just want to be clear on this. This is a guy with a possible stolen car, took off, you know, whatever. Not a big deal. Oh, you know what? Actually, we can go... We can go the other way. So, my concern is this guy is running from... The cops, right there. He's in the middle of the freeway, in like some bushes between the freeway. Let's say he runs southbound across the five, gets hit by a car, killed. Now, now it's a news story, right? Suspect fleeing from LAPD or trying to evade LAPD and CHP gets doinked by a car on the freeway. That now it's a news story. So, and now we have a shooting in Rampart. So I'd rather, I'd rather go to that. So. So, there's there's units everywhere. I mean, it's. We got these guys going. Northeast is looking for him. They don't realize he's in the he's in the middle of the freeway. He's not in these bushes. He's in the next. So technically, it's a CHP handle. It right now it's a CHP handle, but. <laughs> oh my goodness. He's, he's right here to our left. <clears throat> in the bushes. So. Now everyone's over here. They're saying switch to Northeast Simplex. Let's see what they say. Because, yeah, it, it's kind of a North. It's a siege. Uh, uh, right by the uh, museum, there's uh, a bridge that crosses the street that gets you over here towards, towards uh, all the. Uh, I'm more interested in the shooting, obviously. That's like actually a an actual crime. Yeah, Roger. We got a whole unit drive uh, closest to the. All right, let, we'll let them figure that out. Uh, <laughs> we just kind of fell in the middle of that. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> we'll keep an ear. I'm sure they're going to shut down the freeway. They're going to send K9. If they approve it, again, a lot of uh, a lot of the stuff going on lately. Right. So that's the other thing too. They weren't in pursuit when this guy crashed the truck into the into the berm next to the freeway, and then everyone started showing up. So, <laughs> excuse me. There's different criteria for different incidents uh, that determine whether or not. Uh, they're going to get involved, whether they're going to send resources, actually go and try and get this guy. And again, it's an unreported stolen vehicle. So they still have to get to the car, uh, the truck that we saw. They have to get to the truck. They then have to say, okay, let's run the plate, run the VIN, make sure it is actually stolen, right? Because they don't know who this guy is. Does he have a warrant? Is he wanted for murder? You know what I mean? And if it's if it's stolen, you don't know who's connected to that vehicle. We we don't know who that suspect is. So it's kind of uh, obviously he wants to get away. I mean, obviously there's more to it than just a stolen truck. If you're running across the freeway in LA on a blind corner at midnight, right? So we'll see if they authorize a canine search. I could see them authorizing a canine search. The problem is. And we're not going to be able to hear simplex as we get further down. We're going to be limited to the base frequency. So we'll see what they say. We'll, we're going to switch it up here. I'm going to hit scan because I'm not going to listen to a choppy channel. Um, but again, we're going to see what they end up doing and what they're okay with authorizing as far as like how involved they want to get. Not to mention to do a proper canine search, they're going to have to shut down because they're not going to go search for this guy and let him run out onto the freeway. So they're going to have to shut down the northbound five the southbound five 
the east and westbound 134 at the five connector. So again, is it they're gonna they're gonna weigh and determine if it's if it's worth it to do all that. And then there's liability stuff. I mean, there's there's so much more involved now. Back, you know, when I started uh, in in uh, news gathering, gosh, they would have they would have been all over that. They would already shut down the freeway. They'd have the K9 en route. It'd be a huge, huge thing. Now they have to. There's there's a little more um, a little more red tape for the officers who are responding. They have to determine, you know, who's who's primary, who's handling this. Were they actually in pursuit? Do we know that a crime was actually committed? I mean, there's a lot more. There's a lot more to it, so which is bad for bad for the cops and good for the good for the guys who are stealing your truck at midnight. It, it helps them get away. So not not the best. Uh, so that's it. We're gonna head down to that shooting, see if we have a victim, and then we'll uh, we'll pick it up from there. 455 is back. Uh, 10 8 clear and route to the shooting. 155 South Mountain. 41 or any other units or traffic for 455. Into a house, I think he said it was a Corvette. Puts a vehicle into a house, Southgate. For 41, okay, copy, and he's code six. Wow, that's wow. Okay, copy that. Fantastic. All right, that's crazy, crazy. I'm glad to hear that the officer is uh, is not injured severely, but uh, it sounds like they have a Corvette into a house. Okay, not an everyday thing. Um, and Nathan's on that right now. So if that's legitimate and there's footage, I haven't seen it yet. Obviously, I'm driving. Um, but you guys can see it before me, but after I've seen it? So it's a, how, how would I explain that, Tater? We're, we're looking at footage that is happening now that Nathan's at that I haven't seen but that you will have seen. So, Alex, I'm gonna ask you for a favor if you could roll the tape, Nathan's footage. Sounds like Corvette into a house in Southgate. Let's take a look at that. That footage is nuts. Uh, it sounds crazy, so I'm sure the visuals are on par. Um, Corvette into a house? They're saying Corvette or a car. I don't know. We'll see. I, I don't know what it is. You guys know what it is because you just saw it. Um, vehicle into a house, minor injuries on the officer. Anytime you get a car into a building, it's always uh, usually the car does not win that uh, that fight. So, um, again, we're... We are a couple blocks away from a... Uh, report of a shooting with uh, unknown if we have a victim down, but we're in the area and it's uh, it's a rampart handle. So I figured we're right. We were in northeast, so we're one division away, and now we're now we're here. And uh, you know, oh, okay, <laughs> we're not, not making that light. Where are they going? Twenties. 20s is going to... I actually don't know where they're going. They might be going to the hospital. They might be going to the hospital to get their uh, crew if there was uh, people uh, transported, if they, if they had uh, firefighters transported to the hospital in the RA doing uh, medical care, then they would... Ambulance battery at 7 Oh, and the unit is leaving. Suspect is now at scene. Okay. Let's see if we actually have an incident. And if we do, we might be a little on the late side. No, we don't. Okay. 
So I don't know where they were going. I don't see anything on our system. Uh, it allegedly happened right here. But I'm not seeing anyone or anything. So probably gonna be a no hit, no hit shots fired or something like that. Uh, nothing. All right. Cool. 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 All right. So we are. We're clear. That's it. There's uh, there's the cops looking for what we're looking for. They're going, they're thinking the same thing. What's going on? Yeah, I don't see, I don't see anything in the area. So, alrighty, we are clear out of Rampart, uh, handling all calls in the city this evening. And uh, when you see us next, we'll be probably going to a call. Now at the Hollywood Bowl, the famous Hollywood Bowl, if you've ever been here, pretty cool, pretty cool spot. You can see the big Hollywood Bowl sign. Who's playing, Tay? Ricky Garvis? Yeah. He's not a musician. <laughs> <laughs> do you think Alex ever saves these? Do you think he has like a folder? A folder of all the banter? Of our messed up, like, like... What's messed up? <laughs> like bloopers. This is not a blooper. I'm talking about the Hollywood Bowl. It's not a blooper. That's, he probably does have a folder though of all the mistakes where I'm like, bibbidi 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 bibbidi. We should release a blooper thing. Like a blooper reel, like a highlight reel of me like not being able to speak properly. Bibbidi bibbidi bibbidi. Tay, we're en route to a bibbidi bibbidi bibbidi. I, I sound like that. I turn into Porky Pig. Bibbidi 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 bibbidi. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't get it. I have to go. Okay, hang on a second. Let me, let me, what? Let me just erase it really quick. Okay, we're en route to this and I have to like compose myself. Yeah. Um, no, I'm sure there's a lot of it. Alex has probably. 10 gigs of, oh. 1934, Coinga, we're standing by Coinga and Yoko. Say it, I know you want to say uh, it. You can have to advise the unit that we're, they're going to clear down there. We're going to be in the Chevron parking lot. Wait, he said no evidence of shooting. So then it's clear to enter. 6FB, parking I don't know if I'm going the right direction here. I think I'm on the wrong side of this, but that's okay. It's a green. Yeah, what? Hang on a second. Clear to enter. What? Uh, they just said clear to enter, and then they said no evidence of shooting. 6849, 6849, clear. Okay, they said no evidence of shooting. Now they're saying FD clear to enter. I'm... Uh, right up the street so I, I'm here I don't know if we actually have a victim but I'm code 6 455 is code 6 1934 North Coinga that was weird they said no evidence of shooting and then now they're saying there is a shooting so no there is a shooting there is a victim the question is whether he was shot or not that's the question <sighs> well okay they're probably just as, oh, wait, is he shot? Uh, who knows, we're gonna find out. Were you shot good, sir? Was it a, was it a shooting? Yeah, he's sitting up, so he's doing okay. But again, as that one LAPD officer said, I'm not a doctor. All right. So yeah, if I, if I had to guess, yeah, Alex probably has, I would say, 10 gigs of, of bloopers, if I had the gigs, while we're on the subject. Oh. New camera setup, by the way. The new ENG kit, very cool. Is that guy yelling something at me? No? I'm filming through the, through the palm trees here. I feel like I'm in a Nat Geo episode. Are we actually shot? That's the, that is the question. That is the question. Uh, we're looking okay. Uh, I, I don't know. I think it's a, I think it might be a, a mental illness thing. I don't, I don't know. I'm 
mình Howard's <laughs> running. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. I I I want to say it's a maybe drunken public or there's no crime scene tape. They're not screaming in pain. It's uh, probably not a shoe. Probably not. Yeah, they checked heart rate. We're out of here. We're out of here. I don't need to be where, where the story isn't. It's not where I want to be. So, oh yeah, we were going to talk about that. This is the new, uh, the new ENG kit from Blackmagic Design. Um, Yours truly actually had a hand in the development of this. So this is for the uh, basically any Ursa uh, style camera from Blackmagic. Uh, the carry handle you'll notice is different. They just announced this at NAB uh, 2023 in Vegas, which we were at, which was amazing actually. But you'll see it's got a, uh, an open carry handle so you can put two hands on it, which is wonderful. It's also got the uh, right side for your audio or hard drive. So, yeah, pretty good, uh, pretty good kit, if I do say so myself. So it was pretty cool to actually have a hand in that. Oh, not to mention the most important part, the top cover. Check that out. So there's a cover on the top, and that prevents, uh, if you're familiar with these cameras, they have a huge opening on the top for ventilation for the uh, cooling system. And um, Blackmagic was able to actually uh, take our initial prototype design, which if you look in the older episodes, is a Kydex, uh, formed Kydex piece on the top. They took that, uh, redesigned it, put the Blackmagic flare on it, and then added the, uh, the venting on the side. They ran a bunch of tests on it and they could not get the camera to overheat. So, pretty darn cool. But, yep, uh, you're gonna see not just myself, but all the guys uh, running that exact setup. So, pretty, pretty cool stuff. We, however, are out of here. This is not a shooting. And I think the other photographers that are, have shown up have gotten the memo also, because I'm packing my stuff up, so. <laughs> maybe, they're, maybe, they're, or maybe they're thinking the same thing, who knows? Who knows? So, all right, we are out of here. We're gonna go find a real story. Heading over to LAX. Um, we just heard something on a TAC channel. Uh, battalion is talking about a bomb scare on an airplane. They've evacuated the plane. They've got LAPD. Oh, we want that. We want. Uh, they've got LAPD bomb squad uh, checking out the plane. That's what we're hearing. What and what this very well could be is a training exercise. I didn't see any notifications on a training exercise uh, for today. We didn't get any emails about it. Um, we're heading over to LAX. We've got a uh, spot where we can see the runway. We're gonna zoom in, take a look. They should be on the south side of the main terminal. So we're gonna go over here and, and get a uh, bird's eye look at what's going on. If we don't see any equipment, uh, no red and blue lights, no nothing, then it's probably a training exercise and we just drove to LAX for nothing. So that's uh, <laughs> that's what we're doing. That's where we're at. And uh, again, we heard uh, quite a bit of quite a bit of chatter about this and that's why that's why I took it fairly seriously and the time element um, seemed to be fairly consistent with what you would expect. But again, to be fair, uh, on LA City Fire's part, they're really, really, really good at training exercises to the point where they know what the time element should be if they request a certain resource. They're looking at they're looking at averages on response times and stuff like that. So this very well could be a false call. And actually, we have a call coming in right now. Let's see. Hey, what do we got? Well, nothing. 
nothing. I'm on LAX airport uh, Twitter site. Nothing is going on there right now as far as I can tell the airport. Okay. Um, I looked at all the news. I looked at CBS. I looked at our Yeah, they're not going to They're not gonna have it. It would be, if, it, if anywhere, it'd be like a Twitter thing. So, all right, no, we're just, no, we're just rolling up. We're uh, coming into LAX. I'll take a look around and then, uh, and then we'll go from there and I'll, I'll call you, I'll call you back if I have anything. Okay. All right. Great, great. Thanks. So, do you see anything? No. No blue lights. All right, not looking too promising here. They're talking about a lot of equipment, so. We'll have a, we'll have a look-see into the, into the airport, into the operations, and, uh, see what we what we can find but again I, I think I haven't heard anything else so I'm assuming I don't know I'm, I'm on the fence about it I'm on the fence if it's uh, if it is training it's very very good if it's not then hey we're here and that's what's up they, and again they usually send out emails on this type of thing and to hear it just pop up on a tech channel is not, uh, not normal. But he did have an incident number to go with it. So, again, let's, uh, let's take a look across and then we'll do a lap around and see if we can get a different, uh, a different view on it. But as of right now, I'm, I'm very much, very much on the fence. Oh, planes are taking off. The last of the, the red eyes are leaving. I mean, I don't, I don't see anything. 47 grass fire, Long Beach Boulevard, one No, I can tell from, oh, uh, no, we'd be seeing, we'd be seeing flashing lights everywhere. Let me just, uh, yeah, if you want to come out, just come out. Oh, it's stinky. It's ocean stinky, you smell that? Oh, stinky. Well, there's a, uh, there's something over there. Oh yeah. All right, no shit. I see one yeah, fire and then, truck. And then down there, right? Possibly. All right, cool, we might actually have an incident. Holy cow. Let's take a look. Let's take a look see. Definitely have emergency vehicles down there. And there's definitely, definitely something going on. There is a plane and uh, it does have a, it does have the uh, terminal hooked up to it. So let me look for some other equipment, but that's, uh, looks like an American, uh, American Airlines flight is what we're looking at here. Yeah, definitely American. shot. <laughs> nice. That's so cool. Pretty cool, huh? So, yeah, I mean, this sounds... Ah, uh, I'm still... I, have, I can't see any bomb squad equipment from where we're at, but... Uh, well, they said that they were waiting for them. Oh, they did? Yeah. I oh, I didn't hear that part. No. Yeah. They said they're waiting for bomb squad. All right. 
There's some more equipment down here. What are you? I don't know, Tay. I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm really not too convinced on this one. I, I think this might have been just a, a training thing. I'm not seeing, for that response, for an actual bomb threat on a plane. Yeah, wouldn't they shut down the whole airport? They, oh, this whole area would be, would be off. They, you wouldn't have the, uh, the food trucks going through, <laughs> going through. At least I don't think you would. Uh, my guess right now, considering the lack of information, we have footage. I'm not seeing any other, I'm not seeing anything else that would, that would help suggest that this is uh, what we think it is. So with the lack of confirming evidence, I guess you could say, I think we're going to, I think we're going to let this one go. No, if it was, if it was bomb squad and, and uh, all that apparatus out here, the whole, the whole thing would be lit up with uh, red and blue lights. So, oh well, this is why communication is very important. But um, yeah, it's okay. It's better to be safe than sorry, because then the other alternative is, oh, we didn't go, it ends up being this huge deal, and then, oh, we, we were listening to it the whole time, we thought it was BS and we didn't go, so. Alrighty, I'm gonna make a couple more calls, we'll see if we can get any more information, but as of right now, I think it's just gonna be a training exercise. Alrighty, on to the next one. We can stay and watch a couple planes take off if you want. Okay, all right, <laughs> we drove down here, might as well. Uh, oh well.